in its quarter to 12. Of the temperature is 22 degrees centigrade. We confident safety please maintain with the same person. Did they have a come to complete stop and see the sign and switch down? The fish is just touched down in the bar. I don't know how good the lighting is, especially inside here. It's about just before midnight. There's our plane, just going past it. So it's just me, really, really nice. I can't wait for this heat. Where the flight was really overbooked, the one my sister was looking at. So Kate is going to be back in the vlogs. I'm going to get to the hotel now, get my bags, check in. We've got about 36 hours in Dubai and let's get started. I can't wait. It's been an absolutely amazing trip with a lovely flight and it's just so good to be back in this country. I love it here. Current situation, just got to the hotel now. It is currently 1.20 a.m. So I have a predicament. Kayla comes in in five hours. Either I can get some sleep now or I can already try and get my body clock on the Sydney time. But it just so happened that they made it rain in Dubai yesterday. And yes, they do make it rain here. That's how much money this country has. Uh, so they made it rain yesterday. It was absolutely monsooning when we got here. And if you don't know, they added a lot more salt, a lot more spices in the food to get the flavor when you're at altitude. So always make sure you rehydrate. It tastes so good. I haven't been able to have a bath in like months and months and months because in Norway I only have a shower. There's a bath in this hotel room, so I'm going to go ahead and jump in it. Can't wait for Kayla to come. We have with us Kayla's. <laughs> Kayla's joined us. What are we doing now? We're just gonna go walk around, have a look at some shops, maybe buy something. Maybe. Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> it's good to be reunited. We had breakfast, didn't show you guys, and then we went to the to the room, had like half an hour power nap. Now we're coming to the mall, we're gonna check it out, and then after this, we've got like two other malls. But nearly Black Friday, so we're hoping to get some good specials. So we've been walking around for a couple hours now and been very unsuccessful with the shopping. I did find a pair of gloves, but because I live in a hot country, it's pretty pointless. They were back whole Langerfeld, so I was keen to get them, but my brother did not like them. <laughs> <laughs> but Kayla's walked me to exhaustion, made me look at so many different shops. <laughs> I'm so thirsty. I feel like my mom last time she was here. She was like, I'm so dehydrated. Um, but yeah, like also I'm used to being minus 5, minus 10 degrees. So this weather, even though it's still like mid 20 a lot warmer for me so we're gonna go find some food get something to drink and then we're gonna to go to another mall to try and find some discounts because you know me <laughs> I can't resist a good discount we ended up finding the food court where we came out and tried some traditional Middle Eastern Dubai food so we got some Burger King straight up from Burger King got the XL burger this juice honestly touched my soul I was so thirsty Kayla also got some chips and a burger and then she went with coke and I went with some Fanta. Hello. Please go to um, Festival City, the mall. Okay. Well, thank, thank you. you. It's now three o'clock, so quick maths. <laughs> That's five hours. Uh, me and Kayla got uh, pretty bored after a while. I tried to go to a, an outlet store to get some Birkenstocks. You can see we're so tired, we're laughing at everything. <laughs> we literally just walked around the mall laughing at everything we saw, so it's been a great day. Now it's just spent time with each other. But as I said, I couldn't get the size I wanted at the outlet store, and also I've got very fat feet, so I needed an extra size wide, which I couldn't get. So I had to go to the proper Birkenstock store. And I picked up these bad boys 
they call it Atlantic, I think. But in Australia, in Ghana, I just needed a really good quality pair of shoes that I can wear for weeks and weeks on end. So this is them. <laughs> I don't know why she's laughing so much, but we're going to try and get some fuel in us. We're going to go throw our swim shorts on, our costumes on, and we're going to go jump in the pool. Quick update. We went to the pool, but it's closed due to bad weather. And then our card was deactivated, so we had to go downstairs to reception. So let's see if it works. That's not, that's not that really. <laughs> and Kayla's busy wearing guard slippers <laughs> because she didn't get her bag from from the airport. So let's see. Yes. Yes, it's working. This is the little deli area downstairs in the hotel lobby. So we're gonna grab something here for dinner. You can see they got some sandwiches, wraps some salads got some juices and then they got some fresh croissants and pastries some more pastries some coffee water oh it's actually a costa coffee shop did you know that kayla it's costa yeah it's quite cool yeah. nice little small sitting area and then through there is where you have your lunch your dinner but we're all just going to get something small from over here all right so what we ended up going with i went with a chicken and avocado wrap. They heat it up for us. I'm really, really excited for it. I'm gonna have one, Kayla's gonna have one, and then I got a grilled chicken for Thai, and I'm gonna eat this after gym, what I'm gonna go do a little bit later before we have to leave. And then Kayla got? I got a halloumi and falafel wrap, and it looks delicious. The one actually looks really, really good. Pretty jealous, but we're just gonna go <laughs> one, one. Do you wanna take that one? That one looks nicer. And then, cheers. Cheers. Delicious. <laughs> Just got back from the gym, it was a really really nice session, just did about 45 minutes, full body type, circuit type training. But the main topic, the main thing I wanted to get into this video is that, is Dubai actually safe? Because a lot of people ask me this, especially my friends in Europe, back in South Africa, they'll be like, it's still a Middle Eastern country, is it safe? Is it actually safe? What is the inside of it? So last night, I just thought that would be a great topic for this video. I could have actually done it in the beginning, but it was just so awesome seeing Kayla again, hadn't seen in a while. Things just got out of hand. In the annual survey they did for 2019, what they looked at all the cities all over the world, they took into numerous different aspects into consideration. Dubai ranked, I think, number one, if not number one, right up there as the safest city in the world. And this took into account people being worried about being mugged or robbed, about their cars being stolen, about being walking around outside being safe, violent crimes, crime in general, and number of deaths per 100,000 people on the road every year. So I think that's a pretty good idea. As you know, Dubai is super strict, police everywhere, undercover cops, all over the place that you don't even know. But it is awesome. It's one of the reasons why Dubai is one of our favorite places on the planet, along with Ghana, to go and visit. The weather is beautiful. The people are also so friendly here. It's a completely different culture to what we, com what we used to. So it's really, really nice. I also highly recommend it. If you want to go to Accra, why not just fly through Dubai, do a stopover like we did, we're here for 36 hours, flying through in an hour and a half time. You can see I just turned this room into a bombshell. I ended up having to iron shirts, but I figured out I wasn't too good at Kayla had to end up helping me. Got a whole lot of things to sort out. If you're still watching at this point, I want to thank you guys so much. Please hit the subscribe button so we can grow together, get better together, and improve little by little every single day. And if you've got two minutes, please, I'd really appreciate it. If you hit the first link in the description, it's going to be top my sister out on her thesis. We need about 20 more people, please, to sign up. All what you need to do is click the link, answer a couple questions, choose the one that best fits you. I would truly, really appreciate it. She would truly, really appreciate it. And I'd really, really appreciate you guys' help. Thank you guys all so much for the support. And I'll see you guys in the next video.